Listen to the audio presentation of the story. While listening to the story, you will come across some questions that will help and guide you understand it. Listen as many times as you want until you are sure that you understood the story. The Hands of the Blacks by Louise Bernardo Honwana I can't remember how we got onto the subject, but one day, teachers said that the palms of the black hands were much lighter than the rest of their bodies because only few centuries ago, they walked around on all fours like wild animals, so their palms weren't exposed to the sun, which made the rest of their bodies darker and darker. I thought of this when Father Cristiano told us after catechism that we were absolutely hopeless and that even the blacks were better than us. And I went back to these things about their hands being lighter and said it was like that because they always went about their hands folded together, praying in secret. I thought this was so funny, this thing of the black hands being so lighter that you should see me now. I don't let go of anyone, whoever they are, until they tell me why they think that the palms of the black hands are lighter. Doña Doris, for instance, told me that God made their hands lighter like that so they wouldn't dirty the food that they made for their masters or anything else that they were ordered to do that had to be kept quite clean. Senor Antunes, the Coca-Cola man, who only comes to the village now and again when all the cokes in the cantina have been sold, said to me that everything I had been told was a lot of baloney. Of course, I don't know if it was really, but he assured me it was. After I said yes, all right, it was baloney, then he told me what he knew about these things of the black's hands. It was like this. Long ago, many years ago, God, our Lord Jesus Christ, the Virgin Mary, St. Peter, many other saints, all the angels were in heaven then, and some of the people who had died and gone to heaven, they all had a meeting and decided to make blacks. Do you know how? They got hold of some clay and pressed it into second-hand molds, and to make them of the creatures, they took them to heavenly kings. Because they were in a hurry and there was no room next to the fire, they hung them in the chimneys. Smoke, 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 and there you have them, black as coals. And now, do you want to know why their hands stayed white? Because their hands are tied. When he had told me, Senor Antunes and the other men who were around us were very pleased and then burst into laughing. That very same day, Senor Frias, called me after Senor Antunes had gone away and told me everything I had heard from them there had been just pack of lies. Really and truly, what he knew about the blacks' hands was right, that God finished making men and told them to bathe in the lake in heaven. After bathing, the people were nice and quiet. The blacks, well, they were made very early in the morning, and at this hour, the water in the lake was very cold, so they only wet the palms of their hands and soles of their feet before dressing and coming into the world. But I read in a book that happened to mention it, that the black hands are lighter like this because they spent their lives bent over, gathering the white cottons of Virginia, and I don't know where else. Of course, Doña Estefania didn't agree when I told her this. According to her, it's only because their hands became bleached with all that washing. Well, I don't know what to think about all these. But the truth is that, no matter how callous and cracked they may be, a black's hands are always lighter than the rest of him. And that's that. My mother is the only one who must be right about this question, of a black's hands being lighter than the rest of his body. On the day that we were talking about it, I was telling her what I knew about the question, and she just couldn't stop laughing. What I thought was strange was that she didn't tell me at once 
what she thought about all this, and she only answered me when she was sure that I wouldn't get tired of bothering her about it. And even then she was crying and clutching herself around the stomach, who had laughed so much that it was quite unbearable. What she said was more or less this, God made blacks because they had to be. They had to be, my son. He thought they really had to be. Afterwards, he regretted having made them because other men laughed at them and took them off to their homes and put them to serve as slaves or not much better. But because he couldn't make them all be white, for all those who were used to seeing blacks would complain, he made it so that the palms would exactly like the palms of other men. And do you know why that was? Of course, you don't know. And it's not surprising, because many, many people don't know. Well, listen. It was to show that what men do is only the work of men, that what men do is done by hands that are the same hands of the people who, if they had any sense, would know that before anything else they are men. He must be thinking of this when he made the hands of the blacks be the same as the hands of those men who thank God they are not black. After telling me all this, my mother kissed my hands. As I ran off into the yard to play ball, I thought that I have never seen a person cry so much when nobody had hit them.